Hi guys, I'm back. Ah, I'm back. I have a stack with you and it's probably gonna grow. These are just my hard copies. This is going to be my TBR to be read to read books for the year of 2024. And I mean, this is not a lot of books, but knowing me, I gotta ease myself into it and adjust slowly. I can't just be running through a book a week. So my right here is self-help. I read fiction sometimes and you know other genres, but really self-help, finance, those are my thing. Those are what I'm trying to read. So I want to share with you what I'm reading this year. And if anyone wants, you know, videos on these books as they read them or anything like that, or you guys want to follow along, let me know. I'm just sharing my list with you for 2024. So let's get started. I have five books to show you today. Number one, and it looks disgusting because I'm trying to be more sustainable and rather than just straight up buy like a whole brand new book, I normally get them on Kindle or if I get them at like the thrift store or consignment shop or thriftbooks.com, love thrift books. Um, that's where I get most of my books. Um, but starting, that's why this one looks kind of raggedy and yellow because I got this from the Goodwill bins. I'm not even kidding. But this is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I originally was going to read this as a part of a book club, but it, it just ended, our book club ended. So now I'm gonna read this on my own. Um, yeah, I mean, it says national bestseller. <laughs> I think this is like a classic psychology self-help book and I am excited about this because, I mean, of course, I wanna be an effective person. And if it's step by step and like bulleted the, like this, that's my favorite format and it's easy for me to read and follow along. So I'm very excited and it looks like there are a lot of examples as well in there in like charts, which helps me learn a lot. So I'm very excited and I'm going to dive into this one probably first. So love this. Next one, I got this as a birthday present from one of my friends. And I have started to read, um, but I have not gotten far. So this is on my list to read for 2024. It's the 5 a.m. Club by Robin, no. It's the 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. I have seen this online and known that it's kind of, it's been trending for a while. So of course I had to get my hands on it. I got this because I thought it was about waking up at 5 a.m. And I, I do that already, but I wanted like more motivation to do it. Really big morning routine person that's vital to my entire life is my morning routine. So very excited to get motivated by this. And yeah, it says how great businesses, how great geniuses, business titans and the world's wisest people start their mornings. Ooh, I love that already. Uh, a little known formula you can use to instantly wake up feeling inspired, focused and flooded with a fiery dive. That is, that's right up my alley, guys. Step-by-step -step me method to protect the quietest hours of daybreak so you have time for exercise, self-renewal, and personal growth. Okay, I'm loving this. I love my morning routine, but this might have some better tips in there for me. So, I'm gonna have to read this one first, actually, not the effective people, sorry, okay. <laughs> Next on the list is, I just keep seeing this at Barnes & Noble. This one I did buy new, and it's haunting me. It's haunting me, I had to get it, okay? And I did, I caved. It's Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. This guy was a Navy SEAL. Um, he went through a lot of like trauma, childhood trauma, difficulties in life, and I mean, he was a Navy SEAL. So if anyone knows about pain, it would be this guy. And I think I wanted a book on like controlling my emotions, being better at managing emotions. And this seemed kind of um, around there. This, uh, he has a 40% rule and it illuminates a path that anyone can follow to push past pain, demolish fear, and reach their full potential. So that sounds good. I know that being in the military, it's a lot of the things you have to go through with such a mindset thing and they have different tricks for that and that's something I would so be interested in learning about. So I think this is gonna be good and give me a different perspective on someone's like personal life and how they use it, their advice that they're gonna give me. So I'm very excited for this one. Um, I've had this for a bit, never started it because I've been prioritizing other books, but I'm very excited to dive into her. We have two more books. Do we want, Um, let's do a secret. Okay, 
this book you might think is a little bit more silly because I mean it's called The Secret and first of all like I just want to say that I've already read this book but I think what it teaches you is so good that I want to reread this every year so this is on my to be read bullet and I got this from thrift books by the way so really good this is how do I say it? It's like a manifestation book. Um, kind of teaches you how to manifest, how to get the things that you really want. And I have to say, like, I feel like I've manifested so many things in my life. And I think I was doing The Secret <laughs> or whatever before I even read this book. And I really do believe in manifestation. And um, read this. And it's, it's a really easy read. And it's, like, very motivating and inspiring. So definitely check this out and it's definitely the easiest read out of all of these but this is going to be another book that I read, read just year after year. Last but not least, Influence is Your Superpower by Zoe Chance. First of all, I like the cover, it's very cute, but I saw this in Barnes & Noble. Um, again, it was one of those ones like the can't hurt me, it was just haunting me, I just kept seeing it. And, you know, had the little description from the Barnes & Noble employees about why they liked it. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm sold. I'm going to get it. And I did. And this is on my list. This seems like it has the, the cover on the back saying, this book is special. It invites you with the promise of an important topic. An engaging book on the science of encouraging other people to say yes. Zoe's joke, Zoe Chance's research won't just expand your repertoire of per se... I can't talk right now. Of persuasive skills, it might also reduce your anxiety about being rejected. Yeah, I have a lot of anxiety, so <laughs> this is gonna be a good one for me. Um, yeah, so it's the science of winning hearts, sparking change, and making good things happen, and I need all of that in my life. So I think this would be like a good one for work, career-driven goals for me. I'm thinking just based off of the description and the reviews I've seen about it, so. I'm very excited. There you have it. Those are my top five books that are on my to read list this year. I'm very, very excited. Can't wait to dive into these. Um, yeah, let me know. You know, let's start a little book club in the comments. Like, if you guys love to read and are addicted to self help like me, please let me know. I think if anyone in this world is my best friend, it's people who are also obsessed with leveling up and living your best life. I mean, that's the totally the name of this channel. So, of course um, but yeah thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and hopefully you feel inspired to get some of these books and I'm very excited to talk with you about some of these so yeah thanks for watching have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video bye guys